What up everybody? Today we are going to do a tutorial on how to do an interactive 360 panorama with a drone. It's, it's really easy guys and the things you need to do this are obviously A, a drone. B, the software. The last thing that you can use but you don't need is the drone pan app. What the drone pan app does is it takes the photos for you. Basically you fly it, you put the drone where you need it to be, and then you just press go on the app and it does all the photos for you. So let's let's get into the settings. Let me let's take a look at the uh, at the screen. Alright guys, here we are in the menu and it's pretty easy and quick. You're shooting everything in auto, so real quick I'll just show you though. So in menu, just switch to auto, boom. Then you go to your image size. Okay, image size, make sure it's on 4.3. <clears throat> White balance auto choose your white balance and auto and style none color none uh, and format make sure you're in JPEGs all right guys so now that we've got our settings all set we're gonna go ahead and fly this and we're gonna um, we're gonna do some pictures of my house forgot my SD card I need an SD card <laughs> Now the idea is you want to fly your drone basically to where you want your center point up. So you're just, going to, you're just going to set your photo up. I'd say about 100 if you're doing like a just a normal residence like this, about 100 feet higher than the um, than the roof, and you know just judge it based on the size of the property or the size of whatever you're shooting. You know you frame you frame frame it up. You know, with your whole thing in frame, just about like that. that. That looks good to me. Maybe I'll come down a little bit. Get really interactive with it. And so, yeah, guys, you're basically there. You go. You're all set up. Now we're all set. We're gonna open the drone pin up, and it's all ready to go. And we just hit play. And now this thing's gonna start doing its panorama. So there it goes. So, so now that we've flown, did all our pictures, um, now we're going to go into the computer screen and I'm going to show you how to stitch it all together. Um, so yeah, first real quick guys, these are the uh, couple of softwares that you can use. Uh, I don't use this one. This is um, Auto Pano. Uh, they, I think they, uh, they, have, they definitely have synced up with GoPro, so you know. I think this is pretty solid. I don't have anything against it. I just went with PT GUI because it was what I could find. Um, so PT GUI is what I use. You can go right here, ptgui.com. I'll link all these in the description, guys. Don't worry. But uh, yeah, this is what we'll be using. And lastly, guys, um, I forgot to mention this one, but you're going to need the EXIF editor. It's an app in the App Store. Uh, what this is going to do, it's going to allow us to change the metadata to trick Facebook into thinking that this was shot on a 360 camera so that it does the interactive stuff. So, XF Editor in the App Store. Now we're going to open up the PT GUI app. Okay. And you guys can try this software out before buying it. That way you can get familiar with it and see if you like it. So, I would try it out because it is expensive. All right. So, first thing, we're going to load images. And sorry, I guess I didn't really need to open that folder, but we're going to go into the locate the folder with the pictures. And as you can see, I'm not that organized. Okay, so here they are. So I'm going to click them all, import them. All right, guys, now that we got all our images loaded, we're just going to go ahead and adjust for the uh, auto exposure settings. So click advanced right here and then you're gonna go under project settings and right here where it says perform automatic exposure and color adjustment go ahead and check that box and then go back up here to project assistant we're gonna go ahead and click align the images we'll align them and it's gonna stitch them all together so yeah that looks good now 
So now we have that. We'll go back over to our control menu here. And we're going to click create panorama. It's pretty easy, three steps. Now, you want to be 10,000 by 5,000 pixels. That's for Facebook. That's the best optimum op size for Facebook. JPEGs, everything else, just leave it the same. And go ahead and click create panorama, guys. It's, it's that simple, really. I mean, <clears throat> we're almost done. Okay. So now it's going to save the panorama to where your photos where the photos were so there's my panorama right so there it is it's we have this black space here right so there's another step that um, if you want to know how to add a sky I'll do a separate tutorial for that and it'll just the link will be in the description um, so just be aware I'll, I'll show you how to do that but for now we're gonna leave the sky black so we take this. Now we're going to go down and open the EXIF editor. Take your panorama, drag it over. What we're doing now is going to change the metadata. This is going to be able to trick Facebook into thinking that this was shot on a 360 camera in order for the Facebook to stitch it together and so people can have the little interactiveness. So you're going to go into camera make and you're going to change it to type in the Ryko and then Ryko Theta S. And that's all. Then you're just going to hit process. Now, when we go over here and click info, we are getting the device make and the device model. So now we're ready to upload to Facebook. All right, so drop the link. Now, you see this little gray circle there? If you don't see that little globe right there in the middle when it's uploading, you did it wrong. You can already don't even bother waiting for it to load because if this is not there, this is saying that Facebook's recognizing it as a 360 photo. So now it's uploaded. I will post it. And there it is, guys. You got a you got a 360 pan of shots on Facebook. Boom. If I click it and make it larger. Okay, and you see what I'm saying about the black? So there's your top. That we can fill with the sky. I'll show you in another tutorial. But yeah, there you go, guys. That's how you do the 360 panorama shots for Facebook. It's really easy, and they're fun, and people love them. All right, guys, I hope you liked the tutorial. I hope it helps you. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Uh, go ahead and like it if you liked it, and subscribe, and I'll make some more tutorials, all right? Bye!